it's time for Spotlight on Team Singapore. Well, first off, let's talk about the main man in Singapore badminton, Lo Kian Yu. The big, big news was him beating Lin Dan in the Thailand Masters final. And I spoke to Kian Yu about it and he said he did not know what the big fuss was about. He didn't expect the huge media it. attention on him. Can but he's been getting it, it and so he should by beating one of the best players in badminton. Such is the case in Singapore. It seems as though you need to beat a world champion in order to be noticed. Joseph Schooling did that when he beat Michael Phelps and now, of course, Ken Yu doing that after he defeated a two-time Olympic champion, Lin Dan. Um, but of course, it's not just about Ken Yu. Our other Team Singapore shuttlers have also been flying the Singapore flag high. Danny Bawa Krishnanta and Tan Wei Han winning recently the Estonia series as well as the Swedish Open and coming in as runners-up uh, for the mixed doubles for the Austrian Open. Also, Jin Yujia and Lin Minghui recently winning the women's doubles in the Laos Open. And our other shuttlers, of course, who are competing this week in the German Open, Lo Ken Yu himself, as well, Yo Jiamin and Danny and Wei Han all involved in action. So it's definitely very exciting times for Singapore badminton and to be a Team Singapore fan in general. And the badminton action continues of course in April with the Singapore Open and will we see a rematch of Lo Kian Yu and Lin Dan on home soil? Will that happen? I can't wait. That is a mouth-watering prospect indeed. A lot of it is of course left up to fate but it's definitely something that everyone I'm sure would be looking forward to. When we come back, we're going to have a look at what some of our Team Singapore athletes have been doing for the community. There's no better time to spread festive cheer than during the festive season. And our Team Singapore bowlers recently during Chinese New Year involved in Project Uplift as they distributed festive bundles to over 200 families in the Teluk Blanga and Spooner Road estates. Not to forget to mention, of course, Run for Hope 2019 that recently concluded, organised by Four Seasons Hotel and National Cancer Centre Singapore. As Team Singapore athletes, Sasha Christian, Dalvin Goh, Lin Jiamin, Lin Yao Xiang, as well as the Team Singapore speed skaters doing their part to champion for the cause of cancer research. Well, talking about Team Singapore Athletes, we have a segment on this show where we look at the Team Singapore Athlete of the Month. And this month, it is Mohamed Jaris Go from the Singapore Bowling Federation. And Jaris has had a busy couple of weeks picking up awards left, right and centre. He is the Singapore Bowling Federation's Bowler of the Year. He is the SD Athlete of the Year. And in the Singapore Sports School Awards recently, he was announced as the student as the outstanding student athlete for the school. So very, very, very big time for Jaris and he has been flying the flag high. There's a lot of team emphasis last year. So bringing forward to Asian Games where we won the Trills Bronze since 2006, Doha. Yeah, that was the first Trills medal since 2006 and it was the first medal since 2010. So I think it's a huge improvement and also World Championship is something we didn't expect. What you're going to do is basically put up a few names every month for you guys to vote for your Athlete of the Month and we will be announcing the winners or the Athlete of the Month on this show. Very, very exciting. So keep in touch with us, get involved with the competition and vote for your favourite Athlete of the Month. <laughs> 